Hi children, today we are going to learn the topic Articles from the textbook Grammar and More, Chapter 4. Dear children, you have already learned what is an article and you know A and the. These are the articles. Let us learn more about articles. First, we can look at the definition of an article. An article is a word that modifies or describes the noun. It is used before the noun to show whether it refers to something specific or not. So, the articles are always used before the noun. And it also refers to something special or not. Now, the articles are divided into two parts. First one is definite article and the second one is indefinite article. Now, look at, let us see what is a definite article. Definite article are uh, the noun, where the nouns are or the something that is very clear, exact or obvious about something. So, like that articles are known as definite article then what about indefinite article by the name itself you can understand definite means we are so sure that thing is very sure that is definite that's why we are using definite article over there if you are not sure about that something and not clear about something we can use indefinite article over there indefinite articles are something which is not clear or obvious or exact we are not sure about that, which we are not, when we are not clear about that. That thing, will for that thing, we can use indefinite article. Now, let us look into the textbook. A and R called indefinite articles. I have already told you, there are two types of articles. Definite article and indefinite articles. Indefinite article means, which something is which is not clear or exact which we are not exact for that nouns we can use a or an and it is for singular it is used for singular nouns whereas for definite article that thing will be sure or that thing will be exact or clear that type of articles are known as definite article that is the the is the definite article and the we can use it for uh, singular or plural but here a and an we have to use only for singulars and also they are indefinite which is not that uh, noun will not that something that will not be clear so a is used before a words that begin with a consonant sound it is also used before words that begin with U when pronounced as U. That I will be explaining to you. Before that, I want you to write which are the vowel sounds and which are the consonant sounds. Letters like A, E, I, O, U. These letters are known as vowels. These letters are known as vowels. In your smaller classes, you might have learned A, E, I, O, U as a letter, not as a sound. Right? Actually, these are the sounds. We had to take care of only the sounds, not the letters. A, E, I, O, U. Based on the sounds, we have to use the vowel, A or an. And what well, these are the vowel sounds, five vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U. The sounds of uh, sound of A is A, uh, A. Uh, then sound of E will be A. The sound of letter I will be I or E. Sound of letter O will be O. And sound of letter U is A. Uh. It is not U. So, when we say that, that uh, apple, uh, apple, elephant, 
ice cream or in igloo then orange umbrella these are the vowel sounds and the words beginning with vowel sounds now let's see which are the consonant sounds for that we have to use a which are the consonants consonant sounds other than vowels uh, uh, the remaining sounds are consonant sounds there are five vowel sound and the remaining 21 are consonant sounds so the sounds like b b sound k sound the remaining remaining letters have consonant sounds so b k d f g h etc these are all consonant sounds so we have to use a in front of that now let us see the examples of consonant sound the article the article which you are using for consonant sound a girl what will be the sound of letter g g the beginning sound is g we should see the sound not the letter g g g is a consonant sound so we have used a over here next is cat the beginning sound is what k so we have used a beginning of skirt is sk sk is a consonant sound so we have used a next is now you can see look at the three words you can see the difference what how will you pronounce this word uniform right u what will be the starting sound of uniform u this is u uniform and see the next one university and see the third one european and do you know why we have used a over here they are all having that letter u because we should see the sounds not the letters here the letter u is having u sound for this word it is having the first letter is having for the first sound is u sound u sound is not there in the it is not there in this vowel sound here also the starting sound is u university so the sound u is not in vowel sound and see it is beginning the last one it is beginning with the letter e but the sound is not a or a, a it is not the a sound it is u sound again u european so these th these three words having consonant sounds that's why we have used a over the a next we can look at the next next one a and is and is used before words that begin with a vowel or vowel sounds as you know these are starting with n that these sounds will be uh, these sounds are the vowel sounds we have to use and in front of that so it is you also use with the words that begin with a silent h some words some sounds have that silent silent words silent words silent sounds for example look at this word our we are not pronouncing it as hour it is our h is silent our the first sound is a uh, our a uh sound is actually a vowel sound that's why we have used over here and now 
I want to look into the ne next one. And an air. Here also the first sound, the letter H is silent. Air. So the first sound is a vowel sound. That's why we have used an. Then see the last word. Honest man. The first letter H is silent. So the beginning sound is O. Honest man. O sound is it is among the vowels. That's why we have used the word an. So an air, an R, an honest man. So in this that H sounds are silent. H is not always silent. But in some words that the letter H, the sound of H is silent. That's why we have to use an in front of that. Next we can look at this example in the word one-eyed monster. The letter O is pronounced as W sound. We won't say one-eyed monster, right? We will we will pronounce the word as one-eyed, W, one-eyed, one, once, one. Though the letter the sound the letter is O, we are pronouncing this word as W sound with the W sound. So. The word sound is not a vowel sound. The word sound comes under consonant sounds. Okay. So, we have to use A. Word sounds comes under consonant. It is, though it is starting with O, it is not a vowel sound. This is not a vowel sound. Word sound, that is a consonant sound. So, we can use, so we, we can use a one-eyed monster. A. In front of one. A. A one-eyed monster. Okay, children. I hope you understood the concept of A and the. Now, let's start with the exercise in the textbook. Fill in the blanks with A or an to complete these phrases. Now, look at these sentences. We have to fill in the blanks with A or an. A or an. Dash small house. Look at the first sound of small. Small house. The first sound is so sound. So the answer will be so is actually a consonant sound. So we have to use a. Next. Here we can use. A. Next, intelligent child. E. This first uh, uh, sound of this the, of the word intelligent is E. E comes under vowel sound, so we have to use an. Next, bright star. See the first sound, b. Bright, b sound. Bright, br. Both br sound is br sound is a consonant sound, so we have to use a university degree. University, the beginning sound is u, so we have to use a. a. It is not an; it is a. Honest confession. So let us see the first sound. Honest, that the word, the H is silent. The first letter is O. The first letter is O. So it is a vowel sound. We have to use an. Next, friendly puppy. The first letter sound is fr. Fr is a f is a uh, consonant sound. So we have to use a. Seventh one. Elephant's memory. This first sound is A. So we have, it's a vowel sound. So we have to use an. So like that, you can do the exercise 8 to 20. Remember, you have to look at the sounds, not the letters. Please do the exercises from 8 to 20.
in your textbook with your pencil. Now let us look into the answers. Please check yourself. These are the answers. A small house, an intelligent child, a bright star, a university degree, an honest confession, a friendly puppy, an elephant's memory, a hearty meal, a new neighborhood, an old friend, an honorable person, an urgent, uh, urgent meeting, a useful tool, an unusual, a uh, unusual, and okay, uh, a happy girl, an innocent baby, a rotten apple, an hourly, hourly brush, a youthful face, a universal truth. You can check your answers now. Next, let us again look at these articles. This the is the definite article and a and an is indefinite article. Now let us learn more about definite article the. The is called the definite article. It is used before specific things. Specific things means special, something special. If you want to uh, make it more special or in, make it more important we use that the, uh, the in front of that specific things or places or when some something is the only one of its kind that means if there is only one thing in that world only one type is available or one thing is there we have to use the article the because it is something specific. Examples the moon, the Taj Mahal, the Mahabharata, the house next to ours, the students in my school. Now look at these examples. The moon, there is only one and one and only moon in this world, right? So we have to use the. What about Taj Mahal? Is there any other Taj Mahal in the world? No. There is only one Taj Mahal in the world that is in Agra. So we have to use it's the name of the monument. So we have to use the. Next, Mahabharata. The Mahabharata. Mahabharata is only one thing. Though there are many copies, but the Mahabharata is only one. It's the name of a religious book, textbook. So we have to use the Mahabharata because it is special. There is only one and only Mahabharata in the world. Next, the house next to ours. Now here you can you are seeing that house next to ours. There will be only talking about one specific house, something one special house. You are talking about one particular house. So to show that particular thing, you have to use the. The students in my school. So here I am talking about the particular group of students in my school. So we have to use the word the. So if you want to be particular or specific, you have to use the indefinite article the. The is also used with a single common or proper noun to represent a class or group. Example. Now let us see uh, the, the is used for to denote. Uh, you used to denote a single common noun or a proper noun to re which is representing a class or a group of something. The class waited quietly for the teacher. See the word the class. It shows a group of something. Right? So that's why we have used the in front of that. Now let us see the second example. The rhinos must be protected from extinction. So here the rhinos is talking about not only one or two rhinos, it is talking about the entire group or entire class of rhinos. So we have used the over there. When we talk about someone or something for the first time, we have to use a or an. So this is very important. When we introduce in a paragraph, uh, when we introduce a thing, a noun in a paragraph, first or the first time we have to use a or an based on the sound. Then if the same word 
or saying that a uh, noun is repeated in the coming uh, upcoming sentences we have to use the word the so if the first time we have to use in a paragraph we have to use a or an and after the first time we can use the say if the same word is repeated in the other lines we have to use the word the in front of that for example a girl was holding an umbrella. A gust of wind blew the umbrella away. The girl ran after it. Here you can see the first time I am introducing the word girl. So as it is a consonant sum, I have used the word, I have used the article A. And here also, this is a noun. So uh, as it is singular one and also for the first time, I am using the word umbrella and it is a vowel sound beginning with a vowel sound. So, I have used the word and. So, the girl and an umbrella are used for the first time in this sentence. See the second sentence of, this, uh, of the same thing. The uh, gust of wind blew the umbrella away. So, you can see the word umbrella is repeated second time. It is repeated here so when you re when the same word is repeated first we have to use a or an next we have to use the if it is repeated we can use the in front of that and again see this next third sentence the girl ran after it the girl here the second time the girl the first time is over now it's the second time the girl the word girl is repeated so we have to use the word the in front of that. Not don't use a again. The is used with superlatives and ordinals. The next rule. So we have to use the in front of superlative degrees and also for the ordinal numbers. For example, this is the best news I have ever heard. So the word best is a superlative degree it's a superlative degree of good good better best so best is a superlative degree so in front of the superlative degree you have to use the word the then we will arrive on the 5th of may 5th of may so we will arrive on the 5th of may the word fifth is actually ordinal number uh, cardinal and ordinal number you have Learn, you might have learned in your max classes. So, ordinal means what? Fifth, right? Fifth, second, first. These are all ordinals. First, second, third, fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth and all. And last also. Okay. They are ordinal numbers. So, we have to use the word the in front of that. We will arrive on the 5th of May. Now, let us look at the exercises. Section B, fill in the blanks with A, and or the. Now, uh, let us read the sentence. Spain is European nation. Dash country is well known for its amazing art, architecture and food. Dash capital of Spain is Madrid. Some of Dash others famous cities of Spain are Barcelona and Seville. Another special city is Granada, Granada, where you will find Dash ancient palace of Alhambra. So now we have to use A and or the. Remember, for the first time we have to use A or an based on the sounds. Then if the same word is repeated or if if it is a particular thing, if everybody knows the thing, uh, there you have to use the word the. So let's begin. Here there is one dash which is missed out there. Here one dash is there. Spain is dash European nation. See the word European. So the beginning sound is U sound. So it is a consonant sound. So you have to use A or an A. Dash country is well known for its amazing arch 
architecture and and food dash capital Spain so here you can uh, you can look into the second one the country the country which you are talking about the, the country which we are talking about is Spain right so here we can use it is talking about this country sorry it is talking about the country about this European nation European country so we have to use the it is talking about this country Spain so that's why we have used the or the the country is well known for its amazing art architecture and food then then we have to use capital of Spain is we won't say a capital there is not a capital because it is a only one thing there is no other capitals capitals uh, capital of Spain is only one thing so we have to use the there is only one and only capital when we say talk about a country right the capital of Spain is Madrid some of dash other here you can use some of the other because it is the other famous cities so here we are using the because of when we are talking about it is not a singular one the other famous cities is a plural one that also we have to check right if it is a singular only we have to use a or an if it is a plural we have to use the and also for particular specific things the other famous cities of Spain are Barcelona and Seville. Then another special city is Renaide. Then here where you will find Dash Ancient Pal Palace of Alhambra. So here you can write where you will find the Ancient Palace. Here this Ancient Palace of Alhambra is only one thing. Right? There is no other thing. And like the and we when we talk about the Taj Mahal, we have used the over the like that. We have to use the. We won't. We should not use. You will find a ancient palace of Alhambra because there is uh, only one palace of Alhambra of over the that is only this uh, which is there in the Spain. It is sort of only one thing. That's why we have used. It is a particular thing, specific thing. We have used the word the over the. Now let's see the second example. Chitra went for dash walk in the park. So in, in park uh, near her house, it was it dash was cool evening and dash gentle breeze and blow. Now let's look at the answers how to write. Chitra went for dash walk. Chitra went for a walk in dash park because the park is actually a particular thing right it's a particular thing which is known to all so we have to use the in front of that the Chitra went for a walk in the park near her house it sorry that uh, it was here after was the dash is after was not the it was a cool evening a cool it was a cool evening and dash gentle breeze was blowing so we can use over here a it was a cool evening and a gentle breeze was blowing she chose path here also when uh, what is missing that here that article she chose a path that cut through dash center of dash park here what we had to use she chose a path that cut through the center we are talking about the particular thing the it is not it is definite right so the center of the park suddenly she heard dash strange sound coming from dash bushes suddenly she heard 
or talking about one singular one, right? A, a strange sound coming from dash bushes, coming from the bushes. It is plural, bushes is plural. Chitra went closer to take dash look. We can use a look. Then what did she saw? What did she see over the dash tiny kitten? Was mewing sadly. A. It is talking about singular one. A tiny kitten was mewing sadly. Then the same word is kitten is repeated over here. So we have to use the word the. The kitten was all along. Chitra picked up. Again we have to use the kitten is repeated. The. The kitten. And took it to home. So like that you can do exercise 3. Please do it fast. Now let's watch uh, the answers. Here are the answers. Please check yourself. And the third answer is given over here. You can check the answers. Now let's do the next exercise. Uh, insert slash marks to show where articles are missing in these sentences. Write the missing articles on the blanks. So here in the sentences some articles are missed over there where there we have put that slashes. So in the slashes we have to put the articles. Okay. We have to first we have to put the slashes then we have to use, then we can use the article over there. Now let's look at the first sentence. The answers are already given. Tokyo is the, the capital of Japan and also the largest, it's the superlative degree, the largest city in the country. So like that you can do put the ash slashes and also write the articles or the missing articles in this side. So let's see the second one. You cannot take bags. You cannot take bags and cameras into cinema hall. So you cannot take bags and cameras into here. One is missing. One article is missing. So we had to put the slash over there and in cinema hall. So the cinema hall, like we, the examples, like cinema hall, school. Uh, then auditorium, playground, these are all common places, right? And it is also known to everybody. If it is no particular, it's not, if it is a, what do I say, not a, a singular, something singular, we can use the word the for playground, school, auditorium, right? For that, we, we can use the older. You cannot take bags and cameras into the so the missing article is the you can write the answer here in the textbook next malala yusuf sad is youngest person ever to have received nobel peace prize here you can look at this malala yusuf sai which is a word you can find that the something is missing malala yusuf sai is youngest youngest is a superlative degree so there we have to use the in front of that, right? The. So you can use the in front of superlative. We have to use the word article the. Malala Yousaf Sai is the youngest person ever to have received Nobel Peace Prize. So the word Nobel Peace Prize is something special, special, specific, right? It's a particular thing. So we, there also it's a Nobel Prize, so there is only one one Nobel Prize, right? That is a only one uh, type of prize in the world. So, the we can use over the, the Nobel Prize. Next, I have aunt who lives in Darjeeling. Here, I have aunt. Here, something is missed. I have o. O sound is a vowel sound, and I have an. Right? I have an aunt. I have an aunt. I have an aunt who lives in Darjeeling. Then 
Shamono dreams of becoming artist. Remember, dear children, the word Darjeeling is the name of a place. So, uh, you should not use the word the over there, okay? If it is the name of a monument, if it is the name of a mountain, if it is the name of a river, ocean, right? Uh, or something very special. We, where we have to use the in front of that. Now, let's see the fifth one. Shamano dreams of becoming artists. What is missing over there? Here. Shamano dreams of becoming a artist or an artist or the artist. It will be an artist. An. So, like that, you can do the exercise number 6 to 14. Please do it fast. You have to put the slashes and also write the missing uh, word, 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 the missing article there. You have to put the slashes and write the proper article over here. Please do it fast from 6 to 14. Now, here are the answers. Please check your answers. Now, let's go to exercise number D. Add articles were needed. And write the sentences correctly. So here you have to add the articles wherever needed. And you have to rewrite the sentences correctly. Mummy found mouse in the kitchen. Here you have to use the articles. Where you have to you know, use the article, add the article. Mummy found a mouse. Here it is missing. So here you can write a. It is a mouse. Found a mouse in kitchen. I told you kitchen like that places, right? In the kitchen. In the school like that. In the kitchen. Now let's look, look at the second sec uh, sentence. Last day of this month is Sunday. Last day of this month is Sunday. So how to use the uh, word you have to do? Use this last day. First, last. Uh, these are all. Uh, ordinal numbers that so we have to use the in front of that right the last last is a ordinal number first last second third fifth and I told you the last day of this month is a Sunday it's a Sunday right the last day of we are talking about the last day there are many Sundays it is only one Sunday right a the last Sunday of this month is a Sunday. Lara has bicycle but takes bus to school as it is faster. Here, what will come? Lara has, something is missed over here. It is B, bicycle, A. A sound is missed. Lara has a bicycle but takes bus. Something is missed, that is the. The bus to school as it is Foster. Now let's see the fourth one. Longest river in the world is nine. Here, longest, the word longest is a superlative degree, so we have to use the in front of that. The longest river in the world is Nile. The Nile, because Nile, Nile is the name of the river the ganga the jamuna so in front of the rivers in front of the mountains uh, in front of that uh, we have in oceans we have to use the word the in front of that so we have to use the in front of that we camped near river on first day of our school trip here we camped near a river we camped near a river on here it's an ordinal number so we have to use the on the first day of our school of our school trip so like that you can do the exercise from 6 to 10 you can do it fast now let's see the answers these are the answers. Please go through the answers and do the correction if necessary.
Now, now let us look at the last part of this chapter, language across the curriculum. The question is, add a and or the were needed and rewrite the paragraph. So here you can see one passage is given. You can use a and or the wherever it is needed. Okay, and you have to rewrite this passage over in the textbook. So you have to read it and find out where it is needed. Please do it fast. Now let us see the answers. Remember there are names of the rivers Ganga, Brahmaputra, Indus. These are the name of, names of the rivers. So you have to use the in front of that. Now let's see the answers. These are the answers. Please check your answer. So dear children, today we have learned the concept articles. And in articles we have learned what is definite article and what is indefinite articles. Thank you.